What's going on, Clam Fam? Sorry it's been so long since I posted a video. Just been trying to figure out some things going on in my personal life and uh, what direction I really want to take this channel. Let's face it, 2K has been dead for the last two years and it's been a hard, hard game to make content for, at least for me. I'm going to drop a rant video right here, right now. First things first, I want 2K to succeed more than just about anybody. But right now, and I think you can agree with me, it has been absolutely ass cheeks and everybody knows it. When you have a guy like Troy Dan who'd rather do a four hour gambling stream instead of opening packs and playing randoms at the park, you know there's an issue. So I know what you're saying. Hey Clam, what's your issues with the game? Why haven't you been playing 2K? I'll be able to answer two of those questions for you right here, right now. But if you're a fan of 2K21, I'm not here to judge you or anything like that. But from the majority of people that I've talked to, 2K21 doesn't really have a whole lot of fans. So let's get on into it. My number one issue with 2K21. It's an exact copy and paste to 2K20, at least for the PS4 and Xbox One versions of the game. I've played a few games of 2K on the PS5, and it's, I mean, it's just basically the same game with a small upgrade on the graphics. Nothing's really different. So 2K, the question really is, how are you going to sell a game that you made no improvements on? None. All the same animations. Basically the same graphics. All the same game modes. How are you going to sell that to people? It's not fair. There are people out here struggling during everything that's been going on in the world with the last year and a half almost. And you want people to spend their hard earned 60 and 70 dollars on a game that you literally hit control C and pasted it onto this year's game from last year? That's bullshit. It's absolute bullshit. And it's, it's sad really. It's like these little kids are like, oh man, I really want 2K, I really want 2K. They save up their hard-earned money to get 2K, and it's the same damn game as last year with a roster update. 2K, do you really think your game is so flawless that you can just do that from year to year? You think your game is that perfect? Well, let me tell you, it's far from perfect. Make some improvements for 2K22. We are all begging you to do so. Please. Issue number two. Stop spending so much damn time creating my team cards. Don't get me wrong, I understand. There is a huge, huge following for my team. A lot of people play my team. I get it. It's so frustrating that all of 2K's time and energy seems to go into making these new cards and new boxes that they can shill every other day. I mean, holy crap, 2K. I mean, I, I completely understand why you care so much about my team? It's a cash cow. I mean, people spend their actual money on virtual money, which in turn they spend on buying boxes so they can get the newest Dark Matter card, which will be absolutely obsolete in two weeks when you make an even more OP card of the same fucking player. I have watched Troy Dan spend hundreds of thousands of VC just to get one freaking card. And even when he gets the card he wants, he gets his cheeks clapped. If this game was a face, I would step on it, smoosh it, and then sell it for drugs. I don't care what I say. I don't care! I mean, come on, 2K. You're creating so many gambling addicts that it's ridiculous. And I understand it's not real money, but it it is real money. It, it's real money. I was walking down the street the other day, and I saw a homeless dude holding up a sign that said, We'll work for VC. I asked him, dude, why are you homeless? And he told me he lost his house trying to get a Dark Matter Kobe Bryant card. I'm looking at you, 2K. Stop this pay-to-play bullshit. Stop it. Get some help. All right. Issue number three, my career. Now, I've went off about my career multiple times on this channel, so I'll try to make this part short and sweet. Hey, 2K, come up real close. I have a secret I want to tell you. Stop spending so much goddamn money on B-list actors to put in your shitty My Career story. No one cares if Idris Elba or the kid from The Sixth Sense, who's now a grown-ass man so people probably don't even realize who he is, are in your My Career. You know what them being in your game means? It means they aren't getting any calls from people in Hollywood that have meaningful roles for them to play. 
you're spending probably hundreds of thousands of dollars on actors that 90% of the people who play your game have never even seen or heard of. And how many times can you tell the My Career story? Every single Making My Journey to the NBA story that could possibly be told in my career has been told already. We've been in high school, we've been in college, we've been in China, we've been in the G League, we've been a street baller, we've been in a Spike Lee movie, we've been a fucking DJ. We've had best friends who've died, girlfriends who we've broken up with, we've had rivals, we've been on a team with Killmonger from the Black Panther for God's sake. What story can we possibly dream up next, 2K? Let me give it a shot. We start out as a middle-aged janitor at a rinky-dink high school. And one day after all the kids have gone home, we pick up a basketball that's sitting in a broom closet and go to the school's gym and start shooting. We're draining threes left and right, euro steps, reverse layups, finger rolls. All of a sudden, the lights in the gym suddenly flip on, and we hear someone clapping in the distance. It's fucking Tom Hanks. Hell of a shot you got there, old timer. I'm an NBA scout, and definitely not Tom Hanks. You want to come to our tryout this week? I think you could make the team. You bet not Tom Hanks. I'll be there. And then you go to the tryout, make the team, and become the greatest NBA player of all time. Greater than Frequency Vibrations. What the fuck kind of name is that, by the way? Greater than DJ. Greater than Prez. I mean, really, 2K? Enough with the ridiculous stories. And it wouldn't be so bad if the stories continued over a handful of seasons, but they don't. It's usually, like, one year, a year and a half, tops, and that's it. After that, it's just a bland, wow, look at my stats. Oh, who's coming up on the schedule? Oh, I just got a new endorsement from a car wash. It's a never-ending loop, but the kind of never-ending loop where you take a crap, but instead of the crap going into the toilet, it circles around and goes into your mouth and back down just for you to crap it out again. It's never-ending. That's what 2K is feeding us. Crap. And don't even get me started on Be Fresh. So what do I want to see change in next year's 2K? It's simple. 2K needs to pay more attention to everyone that plays their game, and not just those who play my team in my career. Those of us who play my GM and my league deserve some love too. I'm looking at you, Crispy Flakes. I'm looking at you, Six Rings of Steel. I'm looking at you, Kenny Beecham. You guys deserve some love too. Give us new features. My league has basically been the same mode since 2K15, and my GM has been just as bad. My GM was a really, really, really fun mode in 2K18 and 2K19, and 2K completely changed it up and made it almost unplayable the last two years. The repetitive cutscenes, constant tutorials every time I start a new My GM file are just nonsensical. You hire actual actors for my career? Why can't you just hire voice actors for My GM? That would make the experience at least somewhat bearable. I like playing My GM but it's near impossible to make content about it because it gets repetitive after an hour of playing it. Make 2K fun for everyone who buys the game, not just a select few. I shouldn't be reading dialogue in 2K21's My GM that I read in 2K20. That's just being lazy on the part of the developers. If you don't want to work on the mode and make it better, just get rid of it. It'd be better than having my intelligence assaulted every single year. If 2K22 isn't a good game, I don't know what I'm going to do. There's no reason to try and love a franchise that doesn't love me back. 2K21 died off in just a couple of months. I really hope it's a wake-up call to all the developers on the game. Stop copy and pasting and start coming up with fresh new ideas for this franchise. We don't want last year's game with a roster update. You fucker!